this challenge of round two, we've got Stuart Gazes and David Schuster competing to see who can make the taller stack of juice boxes without falling down. Let's go take a look. Builders, take your marks. Get set. Go. And that's time. What was your favorite game show growing up? Mine was The Price is Right. Let's go watch Tom Witten and Wendy Zhang to see who can play Price is Right with electronic equipment better. First item, single uh, incandescent light bulb. Uh, 80 cents? 89 cents. Ooh, 50 cents. Ooh, uh, one, point one point for Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> All right, the three port Pomona box. Okay, I would guess on this thing. I'm going to say $29. Five dollars. 56 30. <laughs> okay. All right, Tom. Go ahead. I mean, <laughs> Your price would have been accurate yeah. for the two port this Pomona is... box. <laughs> <laughs> well, <this one. laughs> um, the, uh, let's see, the Fluke 87 multimeter. $50. And I would say 120 $311. Oh, Jesus. Geometry mm. plate. Tom? Ah, yeah, this is, you'd be surprised. I was. Um, this is worth um, 80. Uh, 100. $820. Oh. <laughs> <You> oh. <win. laughs> Score side up two to two. Yeah. The, the function generator. Oh, the function generator, $800. And um, eight hundred and one dollars. Twelve ninety-five. Twelve dollars and ninety-five. No, no, one thousand two hundred. All right, so Tom. That was strategy there. <laughs> <laughs> and then the objective. So I tell first, and I would say this is going to cost six hundred and eighty dollars. There's so many biologists. <laughs> yeah. uh, Five hundred. Ten thousand dollars. Ooh. That was our first Obviously order of magnitude. Not enough biologists, mistakes, right? <laughs> and then finally, oh, the reometer setup. Uh, um, Twenty thousand dollars. I, I bet that's about right. Except, actually, it's sixty thousand. Ooh, thirty thousand. <laughs> okay, so this is so, something I'm going to treasure. You, I guess the rheometer you, price you more accurately than you did. You uh, are Mr. Rheometry. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had a final score of four to three. Tom Witten is the winner. Yay! How many of you have been frustrated by Archive versus Snarkive? How is Snarkive so good? How do they do it? Let's go see two professors, Carlos Wagner and Yonki Kim, face off to see who's better at Archive versus Snarkive. 
Greetings and welcome back to the Professor Bracket Challenge. We're here for the second round again with uh, Professor Carlos Wagner and Professor Young Kee Kim. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little archive versus snarkive picking. And so everyone knows what, ar what the archive is, right? But what about snarkive? Looks the same, except these aren't real papers. So, this is the challenge for you guys. We're going to we're going to make you decide whether the paper is real or false by going on archive versus snarkive. So, Carlos, if you're ready, come on up. Carlos had the higher score with 9 out of 11. Congratulations, you win and uh, you move on to the live semifinals. We've got an interesting challenge for you folks. In this second round match, we're going to have Mark Aurelia and Margaret Gardell build boats and whichever boat supports the most weight is going to advance to the next round. Ooh. <laughs> 